Google Forms is really great for so many things. But what if I have a student who doesn't finish during class time or during the time that I've allotted? How do I let them finish it later? It's not really an easy process unless you use alicekeeler.com slash form edit link. So let's go there. We're going to go to alicekeeler.com slash form edit link. And it's going to prompt you to make a copy. Now you do need to use this template. You go to alicekill.com slash form edit link and it's going to make a copy of a Google form. It's going to be a blank form so you want to add any questions to it. If you already have a Google form with questions, you can import the questions into the form. So I'm going to notice on here, if you go up to the puzzle piece, it might not be there yet. It's there now, but sometimes it can take a minute for it to show up. So while you're waiting for the code to load, go ahead and change the title of your form. And change the name that will be in Drive. And then under the description, get rid of that. Now mine says email addresses. And the reason for that is I go to the three dots and under preferences, I've already set mine up to collect email addresses as a default for all of my new Google Forms. And I highly recommend that you do that. And then I like to ask for first name and last name separately. And another trick that I do is I add a section so I separate first and last name from the questions. And then you can use the second icon in the floating toolbar to import questions into your Google Form. So you do need to start with my template, but it doesn't mean you have to start over from scratch. So if you can find an assessment that you already have, you can select which questions you want to import, and there they are. Hardly any extra work, but you do need to start with the template. Then what you're going to want to do is go up to the puzzle piece, go to email form link, and you need to authorize the add-on. Now you're just authorizing yourself access to this add-on. You might get a screen like this that says the app is not verified. That's correct. It's not verified. That's why you made a copy of my template because you didn't get it from the official marketplace because it's not there. So you're going to want to click on advanced and come down to where it says unsafe, but it is safe, coded it myself. Also telling you is a little warning that Google has not looked at the code because I didn't submit it to them and allow. Okay, now once you've authorized the add-on, you can go back to the puzzle piece, email form link, and you can set it up to send with email or set up with no email. So what's the difference? When a student submits the form, do you want them to be able to edit the form right away or do you want to have control over whether or not they can go back and update their answers? So if you choose the first option when they submit the form, they're going to get an email that says, hey, here's the link to update your answers later or the links will just be in the spreadsheet where then you can copy paste and give those to the student as you see necessary. So I'm going to start with set up no email. You see that I now have the spreadsheet where my Google form will go to. This is where the responses go in and has the links page, which I have nothing on it yet because I don't have any responses. So let's go ahead and try and preview. Next. Submit. And so you'll notice that I've submitted and it gives the option to edit your response. So right now they could go in and edit the responses that they put in there. But if that's not what you want to do, now they could do it later. And so where you're going to find the link to do it later is on the spreadsheet for your Google form. Notice that there's a tab that says links and here is the link that when Bob would click on this, it would open it up to allow him to update the Google form or continue. So I'm going to click next, say, oh no, I want a digestive instead of those, and submit. If I go back to my Google form, let's fill it out again. I've submitted the form and in the spreadsheet of responses, 
I can see that on the links tab that I have the link to be able to give to Mike so that he can update his responses if I need to. If I had chosen on the form to instead email with send email, then Bob and Mike would have gotten an email with the link to their editing of the form.